What's up my novice lifters? Today I want to give you the ultimate guide to nutrition. Exactly what you need to know to put on your first 10 to 20 pounds of muscle in 6 to 12 months. If you listen to what I'm going to say, you'll recomposition exactly the way you want. So you're not going to be too skinny, too fat, etc. And your performance is going to be exactly where you want it to be. 225 bench, 315 squat, 405 deadlift. So if you're ready, let's get this shit started. So the first thing you have to identify with this nutrition journey is to look at your body fat percentage. Are you on the fatter side or the leaner side? And fatter being above 20% body fat or obese and leaner just being a skinny motherfucker. Once you know where you are, it's going to have a dramatic impact on how many calories you have to consume. If you're on the fatter side, I'm going to say, I'm going to recommend two things, either a caloric deficit or caloric maintenance. Either way, you're going to uh, recomposition just nicely. You won't require a surplus because you already have the extra fat. The extra fat is going to give you the energy that you need to complete your workout. So recovery won't be an issue. Your progress is going to be just fine. So if you're on the fatter side, you either need to have maintenance or in a caloric deficit, right? And of course, the fatter you are, the greater the deficit. So 20% deficit if you're really fucking fat, 10% deficit if you're like slightly above 20%, right? Likewise, if you're on the skinnier side, it's just the same thing, but the opposite. Either maintenance, right, or surplus. Actually, my best recommendation is to run maintenance as long as you possibly could. Run it until you plateau. And once the strength gains plateau, once you're no longer able to make linear progress, then you up the calories. Instead of upping the dose, you're upping the calories. So 10% surplus. You milk that for a little bit of time, right? And once the 10% stalls, you do 20%. So you can see it's the exact opposite of the fat guy, but both you guys are doing the same thing. You're either at maintenance or you're in a surplus or a deficit. So it's plus or minus. Makes sense, right? This is all you need to do in terms of caloric intake. So find out your TDE. You're either in a deficit, a surplus, or maintenance depending on your body fat percentage. So that's what you got to know if you're skinny or fat. In terms of the macros themselves, realize that they're not as important as many people make it out to be. All you have to do is fulfill your total daily energy expenditure. If you do that, you're going to make all the gains in the world. The protein thing's overrated. You don't have to be down in shakes every fucking two hours. You don't have to have steaks all the time. You know, really, the research has shown that 0.8 grams per pound of body weight is about the maximum that you can ever hope to require, right? Same thing for supplements. You don't really need it. All they do is they supplement. If a supplement does more than what it claims to do, then it's not a supplement. It's a performance-enhancing drug. Because supplements, they only supplement what could be obtained in a normal diet. So those are the things that you'd have to do in terms of supplementation and macronutrients. Don't count the fucking macros. Don't fucking count that shit. Just get your TDE, right? Eat a balanced diet. I hope you're eating a balanced diet. Don't eat like a dumbass, right? And you're going to be just fine. Your body's going to recomposition just the way you want it to do. And then, of course, another question that you guys are going to ask me is cardio. Should I do cardio if I'm on the fatter side or if I'm on the skinny side? Can I just do it for my health? Yeah, you could do cardio. You could do it every day, low intensity. None of the high intensity because that's going to mess with the adaptations of the resistance training. But if you want to do cardio... Low intensity is the way to go. Brisk walk, 20 minutes, 40 minutes, 60 minutes. As long as, here's the key thing, you know, as long as you re-eat those calories, you're not going to have a problem. So keep in mind, cardio is going to burn a lot of muscle glycogen. You're going to have to replenish that with additional carbs. So consider upping the carbs in that regard. More bananas per se. More pasta, more rice, more potatoes, things like that, right? And generally eat a bit more. Regain the lost calories. It's not going to have an impact on your muscle gains. And try to separate it from your strength training. Don't do it before your workout. It's going to fuck you up. Do it after or on a separate day completely. So those are really all the things you need to know about recompositioning your body as an obvious lifter. You're either you're manipulating your TDE. You're doing a bit of cardio. And the, the, as for the macros, you, you're not really paying that much attention to that. Provided that you have a balanced diet. You know, if you want to focus on one macro in particular, it will be carbs and fat. In my honest opinion, because protein is pretty much overrated. So that's all you have to know about nutrition. This is the ultimate guide for novice lifters. You're not going to find anything else that could be this beneficial. I hope my addiction has not uh, scared you off. I hope I'm not too formal in this video. But this is what you need to make the best gains possible as a novice lifter. And if you're looking for more details on how to optimize your nutrition, special strategies of looking sexier than you actually are, you know, ways of decreasing your appetite, etc., then you can also check out The Alpha Diet. It's the best book ever written on nutrition. But I think this video should do you just well if you're a novice lifter star now who wants the basics. So that's it, guys. Let me know what you think down below, what videos you want to see next. And with that, talk to you next time.